Hello guys, welcome to Beginner's Guide. In today's tutorial, I am going to teach you how to create this automatic image slider using HTML and CSS. So before I get started with this tutorial, if you have not subscribed the channel, please do subscribe. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Without further ado, let's get started. So here is my text editor. I have two empty files, one for the HTML, one for the CSS. So in the HTML, I'm going to create the basic boilerplate. So this is a basic boilerplate. So what I'm going to do, let me just link my CSS. Okay, now when I open this one with the browser, let's see what will happen. Basically nothing will happen because we have got nothing inside. So basically here, as you can see them here, there is a nice background color. So let me apply that background color. So for that, initially, I want to remove the basic margin and padding. I want to set the box sizing to the border box. Then I'm just going to select the body section. For that body section, I want to apply the background color. So this is a background color that I want to use. So when I save and refresh my browser so that you will see the background color will be applied there. Exactly. Now what do I need to do? I need to create the div. So and then I need to bring that div into the center of the page for that i'm going to create the div uh, let me call that div with a class name called container so i'm going to style this container now since it's a class you have to put the dot in front i hope you know so basically i want the container to be displayed in the center of the page so for that i'm going to apply the following properties So basically what these four lines does is it will bring the container to the center of the page. Let me set some width for my container. I would say 85VH. Let me save so that you will see the container in the middle of the page. Okay, you can't see because I have not applied any color. So what I can do, maybe let me apply some border. Let me call this one as a 10 pixel. Uh, I need a white background, isn't it? So background color, or the border color, I mean. Because there is a white border color here. So let me apply the same. So I want to apply the solid white. Let me save. Go and refresh. Okay, I'm sure that you can able to see them. And then most important thing is this border has been applied in the center of the page. So that is what we were doing uh, with these four lines of code. Then what else do we need to do? let me set some border radius i would call this one as a 8 pixel then i want to apply some box shadow property let me apply the rgba i think we are good right now what is next is we need to add the images into this container so for that we need to have an image so what i'm going to do here i'm going to create another div with a class name called image container so within this image container i need to have an image so i have prepared the image already i have four images here i'm just going to copy and paste this is basically the url for the image so you can have your own image as well so let me save and refresh my browser nothing has been showing at the moment so the reason is i need to style this image container a bit so this image container what i'm going to do uh, let me set the width and the display property width is 100 percent of course uh, display i want them to be display as a flex then let me save go there refresh and then what i can do maybe let me apply the overflow property here i want the overflow to be hidden and then let me set the uh, image width so for that i'm going to select the image and then i'm going to set the width for that particular images that i have the width is going to be 100 percent let me save and refresh okay so you can see them here and the images are here but it's not in the center of the page what could be the reason let me just check properly the reason is this here is also negative 50. So let me save okay now it's in the center of the page right now i have the image but unfortunately 
is not sliding isn't it so because we are trying to create an automatic slider it's not sliding so for that we are going to make use of the CSS property uh, for the animation effect so here in the image container I'm going to use the animation property I'm going to name this animation as slide so I want to slide maybe you can give the time frame so this animation would take the time duration 16 seconds because basically I have four images the assumption is each images would take four seconds so that the next image would come after four seconds so I want this one to be running infinite time so I'm going to use infinite so here I'm going to take the animation name called slide here I'm going to apply the keyframes so that it will start moving automatically so I'm going to use keyframe the name of the animation is a slide so basically let's consider the distance of the image is 100% still I have four images here so let's consider it is going to take 16 seconds so each image would take four seconds so if you divide 100 by 4 we will have 0 to 25 for the first image 25 to 50 for the second image 50 to 75 for the third image 75 to 100 will be for the fourth image so this is what i'm going to do exactly so that you will see the image will start sliding automatically every after the every after four seconds so initially at the zero percentage what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply the property name as transform. So initially I want to display the first image, right? So here is translate is going to be zero. Of course, it's going to be there in the X axis because starting from zero to 25, I want the first image to be displayed, isn't it? So because I have four images, so I'm divided that four images into four parts. So up to 25, 0 up to 25 the first image is going to be displayed then 25 to 50 maybe let's say i'm going to say this one is a negative 100 what does that mean the next image have to come i'm not i'm no longer going to display one image then from there i want to display the next image isn't it so so maybe let's call this one as a maybe uh, let me just set this one to 30 or maybe again here I will say this one is a 50 so what does that mean basically from 0 up to 25 first image will be displayed after 25 up to 50 the second image will be displayed even here of course is 100 because it's for the next image then above 50 we have to display the third image right so let's say 55 percent so in this 55 percent I have to start bringing the next image isn't it so so when you want to bring the next image let's say I'm going to say this one as a 200 then I would say the next one would be let's say 75 so when it comes to 75 again it's going to display the second image unfortunately I have forgotten to put the percentage everywhere here it has to be percentage because 50 to 75 is the third quarter third portion of an image so third image will be displayed so above 75 to 100 we want to display the fourth image isn't it so so let's say here i'm going to have the fourth image so let's say this one is 80 so here i have to change the range because that will be the fourth image so here of course at 100 percent that's the last quarter of my image so this one is also going to be 300 so let me save and run so that you will see the automatic image slider every after four seconds you see after four seconds next one should come because the total distance is 100 percent i divide that 100 percent by four because i have four images so each would take 0 to 25 first image, 25 to 50 second image, 50 to 75 third image, 75 to 100 is a fourth image. No wonder you can able to see the automatic image slider. Uh, this is the tutorial guys. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe the channel as well as don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you so much.